Hello, today I will show you how to light your projects pretty easily. Now I'm going to hide this level. I'm going to hide everything that has to do with lighting. So here, if you don't use levels already, you should use levels. They are nice to keep your project organized, especially if it's an architectural project. Lighting, I can hide it. Lighting, I can hide it. It looks like there are some lights are working. That's completely fine. Let's talk about the general lighting. All right, to set up your lighting in Unreal Engine, if you're using Lumen, the basic setup for your lighting, whether it's interior or exterior is the same. And it's as easy as going to Window, Environment Light Mixer, and then you need to create these elements. So create a skylight, create atmospheric light, create a sky atmosphere, volumetric cloud, and height fog. Now you can duck this somewhere in the window and work with it, or you can hide it. Like I'm gonna close it now, and I'm gonna click here on my, like it was here. Then if you click here, it will take you to the top. Press shift, click on the arrow to close everything, release shift, click, and here's the light. This is from an earlier tutorial. I will keep it just because it's funny. So let's create a new folder and call it just for you, GFR. And I will give you a tip. I'm gonna delete these lights and I will delete. And this beautiful folder, I will right click and I will make it current folder. Now it's green, it's nice. Let's go to window, environment light mix it again and click fast. And they are all here now. This is so nice, I love this. Thank you developers. If you want to change it, you can right click or clear current folder, select another folder. Anyway, that's the lighting by the way. Now, the basic controls, you want to hold control L to change the direction of your light. So let me just find the sun, it's beautiful. And this is Lumen in action. One very important element you want to add to any new project you are making is also the post-process volume. So I believe I already have post-process volumes enabled. Let me check. No, it's hidden for now. Let me see if there is any post-process volume. None. Great. Click on this add menu and just simply type post and click and drag. You can press F to focus selection then press G if you don't see it to toggle game mode. I'm holding Alt and left mouse button to orbit, right mouse button to zoom out. And you can have multiple options. You can either scale it to the size of the house if you want, or you can make it global. In this case, let's make underscore and call it global. And we'll go to the details panel and we will scroll all the way down. Or better yet, you can simply just hold shift and close all these menus, like so. Or you can just scroll all the way. Now, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm scaling you, don't scroll all the way. Maybe just do it once. Let's look for post-process volume settings. And here, under infinite extent and bound, you want to right-click, add it to your favorites. If it does not exist already, then enable this button. Then enable this. And... In this button, I have multiple options. Let's close them for now. Right now, nothing happened because there are no options we change. But what we can change is the bloom, for example. So I can change, let's find the sun, change it from standard to convolution, or let's hide these. I like to close the menus because it's just easier to read things instead of endless scrolling. It will remember your settings. Let's find the lens, let's find the exposure, and let's find the auto exposure. This is usually a setting you may want to set if you want to keep consistent exposure. Now, let's do this. I'm going to find a dark area, as you can see, the just like in real world if you go from real from dark place to bright place it will hurt your eyes if for any reason you don't want that and that's especially important when you have interiors sometimes it can get really bright or really dark and it will be inconsistent for your experience but i'm not saying it's not a good option to have but maybe you want it under more control and that's usually what we do so we have levels and we have a special map for the post-process volume and in this map we have like one post-process volume for each room or each main area. Let's go back to our little nice post-process volume, the global one. Click F on it to find it because I like to look at the cube while I'm working with the post-process volume. Hold Alt and Orbit to find a beautiful view. Alright, now I'm going to enable this. I will switch from Auto Exposure Histogram to Manual and now it's kind of very dark, so we can start increasing this value. You can be, this is like an artistic choice if you want. Physically based values can be discussed in another tutorial. So usually the, for options I go with like 12, 11, depends. Sometimes if I want to be close where there is an area, well, where is an area shadowy like this, maybe 12 is nice or 12 point. 
Five. Yeah, one is too dark. For the interiors, I kind of need to adjust the lighting, but usually from the interiors, it should be bright from outside. But since we have here really large windows, we don't have a problem with most interiors. Compared to this interior with the same values, here if we like increase it to 14, it's not bad, 13. But then this is an artistic choice. So what you, may, what you may want next is to have multiple post process volumes, one for the interior and one for the exterior for any reason. Let's do that. And Let's make this slightly larger so it covers an area from the house. This is okay. And let's call it, for example, interior. You want to disable making global infinite and bound. Now, this should be effective when we are inside it as a post-process volume. So let's change some settings inside it so we can see the difference. And let's change, for example, the saturation. Let's reduce the saturation. Now, if we go inside, this is amazing. If you go outside, this happens. But this may not work. You may sometimes have multiple post-process volumes or you may want control. Like how does Unreal Engine knows, right? You need to tell the engine what is the priority of each post-process volume. So when we click on this, for example, now let's scroll where we have the post-process volume settings and we have the priority. I can add this even to my favorites. And I'm gonna add this to 0.5. Okay, and now I can have another post process volume. Let's make a duplicate. So I hold Alt and click and drag to have a duplicate, make it big. So now if you go inside, there is this. And if we go inside, let's change this to some different settings. Yeah, let's say the extra. We're kind of getting lucky here where this is happening, but usually we don't. <laughs> So what you need to do is to always set the priority. So if this is, for example, 0.4, it will not show anything inside 0.4, sorry, above 0.4. In this case, this guy is 0.5 in terms of the priority. It's always uh, with less saturation. So if we select our interior, the one with the 0.5 and set it to 0.5, Three, for example, we're gonna see now it's already saturated where we want it, which is inside this volume. To keep this lesson short, I will wrap up around here, but some final notes, you can increase lumen settings from the post-process volume as well. So under global illumination, the method, you have lumen and you have some other methods like the screen space. These are duplicated, I would say. So don't switch lumen unless you want baked lighting and switch it to none and then bake your lighting but that's another thing go to the gi here uh, lumen global illumination you have the screen quality the final gallery quality and so on so you can mess around with these so if there is anything you didn't understand or if, please let me know in the comments if there is something you want to learn also let me know in the comments one of the final notes you want to take with you if you have a project you have the global post-process volume and then you have interior post-process volume the main difference between them it will be the exposure and then you can take it from there. I hope you found this lesson useful. Subscribe if you're not already. If you enjoyed this one, share it with your friends. If you didn't, leave a double dislike and I will see you in the next one. Take care.